Hello there, this is the Ocean Raid, and I'm here to give a quick beginner's guide to Top War. So, the big thing here is when you've defeated the Dark Forces, the Dark Armies, the Dark Navies, and the Dark Air Forces, and your troops have nothing better to do, stick them on a farm or, or oil refinery. That stuff, you make a big stockpile of it, and it helps you in your arsenal to upgrade your suppressed power. So, Army beats Air Force, Air Force beats Navy, Navy beats Army. It's a, like a weapon triangle. One beats the other. It's like rock, paper, scissors. That helps a lot. Make sure you fill your components in. That gives you bigger advantage if you keep on top of your components and their component levels. Gives you an edge in battle. So decor, there's a couple things. Place down as many as you can. There are limits. Like benches, there's five. And I've got a 2.4% marching speed increase. Which helps me catch the other guy when we're doing supply runs. The only things I wouldn't suggest merging are purple tiles, freeways. Get a hundred of them out then you merge them from there because you would think you merge three purple tiles you will get double the benefit that's not true it's only like you get a 0.01 percent boost per se for example when you merge them all three you get a 0.015 boost not really worth it. So, yeah. Lay the decorations down. Keep your components unlocked. Except for the shining gold chest. Because they scale to your banks. And if you don't need them, don't use them. So if you use them, somebody hits you, they steal all that money. And nobody likes losing money. Frequently unlock your areas whenever you level up. Gives you more room. Gives you the ability to train more. Units up. Find a good alliance to be in. They help a lot if you have questions. Anything like that. Make sure you have your defensive garrison set up. Because these are the first units that are going to get hit first. If... You have some of those units out, like you have a limited supply, like I do, of 20 boats. They get filled in with other random troops. But if you can have them there when you get attacked, and they're your strongest units, they'll wipe the floor with anybody near your level. So if I get hit with level 60, I don't have much of a chance. I will take out a few of their units and I will make sure they feel the pain. So hit the world bosses when you can. Do your reward quests because that's how you get Kate Curry. And she increases your gathering speed. So that helps a lot when you get higher level and you're looking at like... 20 something hours of gathering you throw her in it's more like 18 black widow's another one she's not as effective but she's good and it's one of the earlier units you will unlock so and when you join an alliance go into battle here hit this auto join button boom open select one unit and the rest of them before you hit that open button that way you join everything well here's the map for that's not my well I hit a button anyway go to activities do all the activities you can so it's free stuff. 
you can't argue against it because the more you do, the more stuff you end up getting done. So like this, hunting guild, treasure store. I'm trying to unlock a certain hero and this area will drop stuff and you have to pay in gems. I got that one. Let's merge this here. Let's see. Okay, I got to donate. I've got a lot of army here. Boom, donate, confirm. Level 3 dex buff. Woohoo. It's actually not bad. I like it because it makes your units dodge being shot at. Which is a good policy to have. So... That wraps things up. So if there's any more beginner tips, if you're a veteran watching this video, leave a comment. If you liked the video, hit that like button and please subscribe if you want to see more of this. So the more likes and subscribes I see, I will keep this series continuing to do early to mid game, how to transition a bit, how to avoid getting hit often, stuff like that from bigger players. And I will see you all next time. Motion rate out.